What's up guys, my name is Andy Suarez and today we're going to be talking about Krita. Now, Krita is a new, well not, not really new, but a photo editor for Linux. And more than a photo editor, as it is a photo creator. So there's a lot of photo editors and a lot of photo manipulators that are already on Linux. And I gotta give a shout out to the Linux Action Show for showing me this software in their um, the latest Linux Action Show. They did a interview with their the cre the lead developer and creator of Krita, and they talked a lot about different things about Krita and how it's a it's more of a Linux create a photo creation tool than a photo manipulation tool, which is like GIMP and a bunch of the other um, tools that we use. So the main thing that I was playing around with it during the Linux Action Show is it's really, really good. And I'll even show you, this is the thumbnail that you will be seeing on the video, on this video. And the main question is, what is the Creator Photo Editor? And it's a lot like Photoshop in a lot of the ways it works. Now, I'm not really a photo editor, and I don't really create photos. I usually am making thumbnails. The main, the main thing I ever use Photoshop for um, is my thumbnails, and that's why I have the uh, $20 subscription for my school through my student stuff. But um, the main reason why I use Photoshop is because of thumbnails and to do school projects and different things like that. But... I made this thumbnail with a free photo editor, a free photo creator, and it works. There's a lot of really good settings here. The one thing that was confusing me the first time around was I, I use the Keep Calm font for everything. So I, I don't know why, I just love that font. But the main thing I was trying to find was how do you change fonts, and how do you do this, and how do you do that. And I think the documentation's okay. It could be a little bit better. Like, it's a little like wonky in different places, but once you get accustomed to how it kind of it, it operates it is a lot different so let's say we want to edit this a little, let's see so um, the the text is called a vector uh, vector layer and then to edit it we'll go can I just yeah double tap and then you can edit it and if you go here into tool options then you can change your font um, your path so different cool really cool in-depth things you can go into specific colors um, I was seeing a lot of different, there is a lot of different options to making photos and making pictures and making and drawing and different things like that. And you can see on their website, they have a lot of images of like what has been drawn in Krita, which is really amazing. Like for a free, with a free photo editor and a free photo creator, that's amazing. This is one, this is one program I've been looking for on Linux. This is one thing. If you have a Wacom uh, graphic tablet, or something like that. I would highly recommend if you if you're running, um, uh, let's see, is it on? Yes, it's on Windows, so you can get it on Windows as well. If you don't have um, like Photoshop and you have like a Wacom tablet, if you have a drawing tablet, which I assume if you have one of those, you have Photoshop. But if you have one of those, I definitely recommend trying out Krita either on Linux, Mac, or Windows, whatever your platform you're on. Try it out, see how it runs, and see you can play around with it because it is very very in depth. You got all these brushes, and it's really good for a free photo editor. One of the best I've used on Linux, and I gotta say that most of my production is moved to Linux, and I'm proud to say that on May, what is it? I just turned to the next day, May 11, 2015. Most of my production is going to be on Linux. I almost can disembark from Windows entirely. All the last vi like five videos I've made, I've all been rendered out using Kenden Live, so that is a high, a really good goal for me. I've I've stopped using Sonos Vegas Pro and a lot of things because the main thing I really do in video editing because I'm just using screen captured footage for now and like the main thing I'm doing is cutting out pieces of audio so if I, if I stutter or if I make a mistake I cut it out so that's all I have to do that's all I need I the two things I really need in a photo uh, a video editor like other people are doing hardcore photo editing and uh, video editing I mean like um, making movies and things like that I don't really need those stuff features I only need to see the highs and lows and the uh, the audio uh, spectrum and where you, you're able to see the audio um, how it kind of like the, the the waves of it the audio waves basically I'm not sure the real word for it and um, just being able to cut and cut pieces out so cut cut delete cut cut delete and then merging together to make it sound clear and coherent so as of right now they're doing a Kickstarter program and here's a Kickstarter and I'll have this down below and I, I was here to look for the version of the software and I believe they're on 2.9 with their developer Dimitri who they hire for 
um, full time for six months. So you can see here, there's some highly, it really is a good photo editor. And I, I, I haven't heard of it until I watched the Linux Action Show. I'll even have the link for the Linux Action Show where it is. If you if you haven't seen Jupiter Broadcasting's um, videos, they're fantastic. Linux Action Show, TechSnap, Coder Radio. They're, they do some great talk shows there about the Linux industry, the coding industry, the, the system administrative industry. So I'll have their channel down below where you can check out those videos and their whole channel because I basically live there. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about the Krita Photo Editor? I think it is amazing, and I'm pretty much going to push everything away from Photoshop because the one thing I've been doing recently is I make a video here, and then I go over to photo, uh, Windows to make the thumbnail. Now I don't have to do that. I can make it right here, which is amazing. I love it, and I love it. There's no more moving to Windows anymore because when I want to do stuff in Linux, I want to stay in Linux, and for my productivity to stay in Linux in one operating system, not having to switch back and forth, that makes the entire difference. So as always, please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.